So we were just talking. They yeah. haunted me with something I'd said in 1999, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. which was that I felt that 90% of the male population, if given a chance, in a hotel room, in a distant place, cast iron guarantee, it would never get back to their other half, mm. would have a yes. sexual experience. Oh. Oh. OK. <laughs> So are you the 90% or he the 10%? <laughs> well, I heard someone describe it as a five-minute fumble and I thought, I don't know if I've got a whole five minutes. <laughs> um, well, I'm Catholic, so I don't oh. really have the option of no one knowing. Oh. So I'm sort of stuck oh. with it. But I think, also, I think Twitter has made that kind of thing really yeah. impossible for celebrities. Yeah. It's an absolute disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> I got home and my partner said to me, what were you doing in Superdrug? <laughs> I just got him for plasters. I had to show, I had to show her an itemised list that I hadn't bought her anything to adult. Um, yes, yeah, but I've been seen in there. I've just seen Frank Skinner in. Uh, it's, it's like East Germany. <laughs> I that, loved I, that. I loved that diatribe so there about oh, that. We come in, don't we? And we yeah. say, "Oh, I had a massive row last night." What was it about? And it's it's that, isn't yeah. it? It starts with Get the old stuff, yeah. back and then it's the same oh, five rows. Old, Do you find old. that the oh. same? No, five... I, I know this is a tricky question for you because I know you two are really good mates. But we were talking about Joe Brand earlier and, mm. and the backlash she's suffering. Is it like really difficult now to be a comedian? Well, I think it's difficult to say anything in public life. At all, and I mean the. Co I mean, if you know, when kids play hangman, is that a devil may care attitude to capital punishment? It's sort of. It is getting very difficult. I. I don't think Joe, for one second, would want anyone to commit an act of violence, no. against, even against Nigel. Farage. And she did follow it up actually by saying, "I wouldn't do this." Yeah. Yeah, you know, kind of. But yeah, I mean, it is, it is a weird time at the moment where people are mm. very angry about various things. But, see, you, but oh, you've got to have, that you've got to have jokes. Farage, somebody could say, "Well, your inference there is." You well, know, I it's think very... because I think Nigel Farage, I think most people would see him as not one of the peacemakers. They would mm. see him as one of the people Agitated. who fueled the mm. fire. But I remember when Margaret Thatcher died. I, as a young man, I had said I hated Thatcher and all that. But the truth is, when it comes down to it, and it was this rather sad old woman with, with um, dementia and stuff, I didn't feel any of that hate. I think we live in a society... This is the serious bit. Gather round. We live, <laughs> we live in a society where you find it... People find it much easier to say hate than love about anything. Yeah. And mm. that's probably... Yeah. Um, especially on Twitter, I find. Yeah. Well, that's you were actually problem. saying that earlier, though, weren't you, Jean, that, that time when Margaret Thatcher died, that that was probably the... the the first that time that we've seen an absolute outpouring of yeah. real kind of Well, I was anger. doing a comedy club um, the night that she was... Uh, not though, but the night she got kicked out of the leadership. Of, mm. and, and we all sang Ding Dong, The Witch Is Dead, I, I remember. Yeah. And... Um, which is a great tune. <laughs> uh, but I don't think I would have sang it the night she actually... Yeah. Died. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But it's just sure well, maybe I'd have sang it, 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 but not dance. It is all this about time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, let's talk love. The love of your life now, apart from poor Kath, who is the long term love of your life, is Buzz. Mm. Your uh, seven year old son? Indeed. Uh, how's, how's fatherhood? Well, I absolutely love it. It's like, mm. I, I think it's. Um, I, I was worried I'd waited a bit too long because I was 55 when he was born. And, uh, but I think parents hang around too long nowadays. <laughs> you know, I mean, you get to 18 and then they become that person you forgot to phone. So I'm hoping <laughs> I'll be around while he needs me. And then when I become a nuisance, I'll, uh, I'll become missed. But you as look it were. really, really well. Has Kath been like, you know, Putting you on a vegan diet. Vegan diet. <laughs> She's, or well, she... I was very much um, a fast food. Um, I once... I, I, I don't want to name names, but there's a well-known um, chicken, uh, southern chicken thing. <laughs> and I, I got a flat that was literally 50 yards away from one, and I was having <laughs> eight a week. Oh. I don't mean eight piece. I mean eight times three piece. I mean, that's <laughs> 24. And I actually so much that I was in uh, Kentucky recently and I visited Colonel Sanders' grave. He's buried there. <laughs> <laughs> to, to give thanks. To pay respects. <laughs> yeah. I was... Uh... It's kind of quite hard to be healthy on the road, though, isn't it? Can I just say, Colonel Sanders is buried in the white suit. You know the white suit? You yeah. So he's already dressed for ghosting. <laughs> <laughs> I was so hoping he'd been battered, but no. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, on the road. No, you can't. When I first started touring, I used to put on about a stone every tour because if you ate late at night, that was it, chips, kebab. Yeah. Mm. But now, you, you know, there's sort of uh, lovely Marks and Spencer's places on the motorway. Oh, services. the supermarkets are available. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Now, I, I have no interest and no passion. I don't understand it at all for football, none. But I do know that you really love it. And isn't mm. it right that your son supports a different team? I mean, isn't that... Isn't that just the worst thing that can yeah, happen if you're a football lover? In a house, yeah. I mean, yes. yes. How do you deal with that? I de it's easy deal. To <laughs> deal with it. It's a difficult one. I, I, I support a team called West Brom, which some of you may have heard of. Uh, I th haven't. Doesn't a... look like it, Frank. Actually. <laughs> okay, no. Well, if you haven't heard of them, they're enormously There's successful. The oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, so I wanted him to support them, but they are up in Birmingham. It's like right. a 250 mile round journey. But I bought him the kit. I took him to the game. I thought this is it. I've 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 got him hooked, but he he's become a Tottenham Hotspur fan. <gasps> I know. Yeah. I know. You were right. That was the correct <laughs> response. <laughs> and uh, they're just doing better, and they've got Harry Kane. And have and you heard you of Harry through... Kane? No. Uh, you haven't heard of Harry Kane? No. Really? <laughs> no. Wow. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's because he got into football through the World Cup, and in the World Cup there were several Tottenham players in the England team, and guess what? No West Brom players. Oh. <laughs> and, and so he's, 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 he's glory hunting. But, but I've, I've ended up taking him to some Tottenham games. I was in, like, the chairman <laughs> section. We sat, we sat in a seat where there was a button you could switch a heater on in the seat. Oh, we can't oh compete with that. No, <laughs> you've had it. We oh, don't well. have seats. <laughs>